Have you recently purchased a PowerSpec computer or another brand that has an SSD drive and a regular hard drive? Well, you may have noticed that the SSD drives are smaller than the regular hard drives. What you want to try to do is put mainly the operating system only on the SSD and you want to move most of your data onto the data drive, the secondary drive. This is Paul, one of the techs here at Micro Center, and today we're going to show you how to move the user directories over from the C drive, the SSD drive, to the D drive, the data drive. Let's get started. Okay, to get started, we want to click on the little folder icon at the taskbar at the bottom of uh, the desktop. We want to click on the C drive. <coughs> Let's go to the user user directory and this is the user that I'm logged in as right now what we want to do is we're going to change the location of these user files so you want to right click go to properties go to location and actually it's simple enough you just change the C to a D click apply it's going to tell you that the folder does not exist do you want to create it say yes then it's going to ask you if you want to move the files from the old location, which is the C drive, to the new location, which is the D drive. So you want to say yes. Give that a few moments to go ahead and create that and move the data over. And then you'll see once it, once it performs that action, it's gone. It's already on the D drive. So the big ones are going to be downloads, favorites, documents, music, pictures, and videos. So those are, the, those are the ones that you really want to focus on. So let's, let's do downloads next. Right click, go to properties, click on the location tab, change the C to a D, click apply, does not, does not exist, do you want to create it? Say yes. Now it's asking if we want to move the files from the C drive to the D drive, click on yes. Just give that a moment to move everything over. Then you would want to do the same for pictures, videos, and music. Um, you could actually go ahead and do it for the rest of them, but the, the major ones are going to be pictures, music, documents, videos. Those are the ones that are really going to take up a lot of space. It's a change that you don't ever notice because it doesn't matter where the files are located on C or D. When you go to libraries, they're going to be there because it's going to link it to the location that you set. Alright, that's how to change the location of your user directories. If you have any other questions, come visit us at www.microcentertech.com.